Hey guys, it's Booga here with a video to show you guys a fresh level 70 Crusader build that you guys can kind of aim for. That's a lot of fun. Uh, this is the Legacy of Dreams a Bless Shield Captain America build. It is a variation of that uh, for fresh level 70s that can get you to complete Greater Rift level 75 solo uh, to help you unlock Torment level 16 and also allow you to unlock Primals. It's also a build that's a lot of fun to use. And if you do get the really strong gear later on, you can actually use this in greater rifts greater than 100 uh, solo. So let's go ahead and look through and see what type of items we can get for this build and just go through some of the stats and skills you can use uh, in it. I did create another video where I showed kind of the gameplay of how it kind of feels and looks like when you're going through Greater Rift 75. In that other video, I actually did not have gear nearly as optimal as I'm going to show you here. So you can still complete Greater, Greater Rift 75 and unlock Torment 16 with gear that's not nearly as complete as this. So let's go ahead and start out talking about the Leorix Crown first. So with the Lou York's crown, that is a great item for this Captain America shield build. And here you do want strength at crit hit chance as high as possible and also bless shield damage. If you don't happen to have all three of these, having Vit instead of the bless shield damage is a possibility as well. For a secondary, it's very flexible. You can have reduction in some type of secondary damage that can help. But what's a great thing about this is it just doubles the effect of any gem socketed into this. So when you have that highest level diamond in there, uh, you're going to be getting 25% cooldown reduction on all your skills, which will help you keep a lot of your skills up and running, which is pretty important for this build. We'll talk about the skills a little bit later. So next we have our shoulders. Uh, the best in slot is this, this shoulders from the Skeleton King. Uh, but really any legendary shoulders will work and none of these even have to be uh, ancient because uh, what really makes this build work really really well is using the uh, variation where we're using the litany of undaunted and then the combination with the wailing host which gives that us that increased damage if this is your only set item bonus for every ancient item you have equipped Increasing that damage by 750% and then reducing your damage taken by 4%. So having these two rings, even if you don't have the best affixes on them, that will give you, give you a lot of power and strength early on, especially if you're a fresh level 70. So getting back to our shoulders, yeah, any legendary shoulders will work. You just want strength or resist. If you have vid on there, that's fine instead of the area damage. Air damage is really good and then cooldown reduction as well. Looking for the amulet, you do want a flavor of time. It doesn't have to be the best, of course. But the ideal roles is fire damage, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and then cooldown reduction. But if you get, obviously, strength is really strong early on, vit, and if you have it socketed, you can play something in there as well. For secondary stat, reducing damage from range attacks or melee attacks is really strong too. Here we all have the Aquila Curings, uh, which is a Big staple in a lot of legacy of a dream type of builds. Uh, here you want strength, vit, reduce damage by elites, or you can get all res there. A reduce damage from melee attacks or range attacks is strong. And then when, when you're above 90% primary resource, you have reduction of damage taken by 50%. Since we're looking at some gems now that we have in this chest, earlier on when you're really low paragon level, Having strength gems is, is really, really good, and you don't even need the highest level uh, strength gem if you ha don't have them yet to be able to complete that Greater Rift 75. But putting in the strength gems is strong. Later on, when you get a higher level, higher paragon level, and you have a lot of strength, you switch these out for all resistance as well. Now we're looking at our gauntlets using the stone gauntlets. Strength, attack speed, crit damage, crit chance. Earlier on, again, if you have strength, um, vit, crit damage, crit chance, that's strong as well. And secondary affix, some type of resistance. Now for this one, uh, getting hit increases your armor by 50%, but reduces your move speed by 15% and attack speed by 20%. Uh, this effect stacks up to 5 times. 
and it is a very strong item that give you increased survivability. And stacking this with ice climbers helps negate any of the immobilization effects that can happen with that uh, stone gauntlet, which makes you very, very strong. Now we're looking at the Akans Manacles. This is an item that's a must-have for this build from your starting out. So rolling for this bracer is important. If you can try to get that. You do want the blessed shield damage as high as possible. It increases the damage of blessed shield by up to 500% for the first enemy it hits. You want fire damage, strength of it, and crit hit chance. Next we have belt. Belt early on is extremely flexible. Witching hour is best in slot for you want strength, vit, attack speed, crit damage as high as possible. But if you were to use any other belt that has strength, bit, maybe all resistance, that would be perfectly fine. That would give you good survivability, even better survivability than the Witching Hour um, with that because you have the all resistance. So that is an option you can use earlier on as a fresh level 70. For pants, this ideal in stock is Swampland Waders. This is from the Witch Doctor, so you would have to get this item rolling as a Witch Doctor. But this is an end game item for starting on earlier on. You can just use any type of legendary pants. Have strength, bit, all resistance on there, and you're good to go. And then slot in the two strength gems. So I already talked a little bit about the rings. For the rings, uh, rolling on them is going to be a little difficult for you earlier on um, because you're not going to have many gems to be able to re roll, and maybe not the math necessary. But having a damage, strength, and critical chance is, is, is strong on there. And then for Willing Host, the same thing. If you have critical damage, attack speed, that's that's fine as well earlier on. Uh, for some of the weapons we're going to use, is we're just definitely going to use this one weapon. Um, so the Gear Falcon's Foot is what I call it. So here, this is a very, very useful weapon. This is a must-have um, for the weapon. If you happen to not be able to get a strong one, you could potentially cube this and and use it in your cube. Instead of using this Akan's leniency, it will decrease your damage by a good bit if you don't use it use use this as a, a hand and you have put it in the cube. But it's something that you can do, and I was able to use and get through Fair Rift 75 uh, doing that. But ideally, you have this one in there, and you want as high of damage as possible, increased damage, strength, attack speed. And what's so strong about this is it helps reduce the resource cost of less shield, increases damage by 350%. And then you want to put crit hit damage gem in there. So this weapon and then this bracer are ones that you definitely want to have um, to have your huge damage increase. Ice climbers, talked about that a little bit earlier. You you want strength, bit, all res, uh, bless shield damage. And then this shield is another one core item uh, for this build. So you're going to have this uh, Jack Kinbor shield. Uh, you want strength, crit hit chance, uh, area damage. If you don't have area damage, you can get cooldown reduction or vit. And then increase blessed shield damage as well on that. And this will help the blessed shield ricochet the six additional targets and has damage increase by 400%. So all these damage multipliers from the bracers. The weapon and the shield is what makes this build uh, do a lot of damage. Now when we're looking at what we're putting in the cube, this Akan's leniency also increases damage further. For each enemy hit by your bless shield, increases the damage of bless shield by 35 to 40 percent for three seconds. So this is very very strong for the cube. The next one you can get is the illusory boots. It helps you move through enemies unhindered. That gives you a little bit more survivability when you're moving around. If you have this in your armor slot. Now, if you didn't do any of the bounties to get the cash for this, or you just don't happen to have this, you can put something else in here. Uh, you could put even the Aquila uh, Curace in this slot instead of this illusory boots and just wear another regular piece of legendary armor that you have that's made it better rolled stats. And that worked for earlier on as well. Then finally, you have the Unity Ring to help. Uh, reduce damage, 50% damage taken essentially uh, when you have this and you have your father that's wearing it as well. If you happen to not get this Unity Ring, get two copies of it earlier on because it is hard to find. 
Uh, you could use this Justice Lantern as well uh, for that. So this gains damage reduction equal to 45-55% of your block chance, and help it, that'll help increase your survivability as well. Ideally, uh, Unity is, is really, really strong. Later on, when we're not using these, these two rings, uh, we'll be wearing that. You we're wearing that a uh, blocking uh, ring, Justice Lantern. But that's for like a later build when you're much much stronger. So for earlier on, those are the that's the gear choices and the cube. Now let's go through some of the the sh the skills that you'll be using. So obviously this is all revolves around bless shield. So you're just throwing the shield around and you're using combust which gives it fire damage and has a chance to explode on impact and deal additional weapon damage. Here you have condemn uh, using the vacuum to help pull enemies towards you um, so you can help group them up. Now if you feel like you want a little bit more mobility so if you don't have maybe this illusory boots or you just like more mobility you can switch this out uh, for potentially the steed and then use the steed with any type of rune you want essentially. I mean rejuvenation gives you additional life recovery so if you feel like you need that you can use that or endurance is really good it gives you three seconds uh, of additional mobility so you can do that as well uh, if you want so we need to pay next we have provoke which you taunt all enemies near you and you gain additional uh, wraith uh, wrath for that and then they taunt enemies to attack you that increases your block chance the hit me uh, affix on here by 50 percent for four seconds which is spectacular uh, for that and then you have Laws of Valor at Critical. This increases your critical hit damage by 50%. And then when you empower this, it gives you additional attack speed, which is very, very strong. If you feel like your survivability is not as good as it is earlier on, you could switch this out as well for the one that gives you, here, right here, the, it gives you life, invincible, I believe. Yes, there we go. Life on hit. Use Invincible to increase your survivability. So that is an option as well that you can use. Then Iron Skin is a staple in a lot of Crusader builds. This essentially makes you much more tanky, absorbing 50% of all King Commanders for 4 seconds. You steal skin to increase duration to 7 seconds. And finally, what everyone uses for Crusader, the Akarat's Champion. When you're, when you're, in, when you're in this champion mode, you increase your damage by 35%, increase your wrath generation for 5 for 20 seconds, and using profit, which will give you 150% additional armor while that Akira champion is active. And then you, the first time you take fatal damage while you're in that champion mode, uh, you get returned back to full health. So again, very, very strong. One of the gems, now for the passive skills, you can use finery. It'll increase your strength for every gem socket into your gear, which is Incredibly strong, 1.5% strength for every jump socket in. Now, if you are very early on and you have very low Paragon level, you feel like your survivability is not as strong, you could switch that out for Indestructible. With Indestructible, you gain, you get basically get a get out of jail free card. Uh, with the first time you actually receive fatal damage, you're going to become immune and get 35% increased damage and increased life per hit. Happens once every 60 seconds with this on top of the profit it makes it very hard for you to die in a rift next hold your ground you no longer dodge your block chance increased by 30 percent that works really well obviously with provoke and if you happen to use that block ring and then fervor it's really good when using one hand weapons your attack speed is increased by 15 percent all cooldowns reduced by 15 percent and then towering shield increases your damage of the bless shield by 20% and reduces cooldown of shield glare by 30%, but we're not using sh really shield glare uh, in here. So, when you're looking at parent levels as an early fresh level 70, some of the priorities you can focus on for this is that you want to max out as much of your movement speed as possible. Um, so, let's say you're parent level uh, 400. Uh, so you try to get as many movement speed as possible on that, and then you can put the rest into strength or vitality if you feel like you need that. But strength is very good because you increase damage and survivability. Next, we're going to be looking at what we're going to be putting on uh, when we're looking at our offensive skills. 
So here, there are a lot of options as well that you can choose. So when we're looking here, let's see, offense, we can ideally, it's, you can't really go wrong with really any of these, but cooldown reduction is really strong. It gives you, allows you to maintain your profit up uh, more often, your iron skin up uh, more often, increase your survivability and damage from that. So that's very strong. And then next you can do a uh, crit hit chance. Gives you more crits uh, with that. So that's what I recommend for the first two to prioritize if you're lower Paragon level. And then for defense, one thing that you always want to get is all resistance. Because you have strength and you're not intelligence class, your resistance to all elements is lower. And then life is very good. You don't have to worry as much about the armor earlier on because you get armor from your strength. And for utility, you can get area damage. It's very good. And then a life per hit is very strong. So that's really the a breakdown of what you can kind of do earlier on as a fresh level 70. Uh, this is a very again a very fun build to play and it allows you to complete your greater rift 75 and unlock primals and also a torment 16 so if you guys have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below and please like and subscribe if you like any of this content and i'll see you guys you know in the realms of hell and hope you guys have been enjoying your season 19